Hey, I got we got a special guest today. We got Stephen Mackey. He uh, he does a lot of talking to the sports teams, and, and he's very very good in his message because it relates to y'all sports. He's a sports guy. He's a football guy, so he understands it. And I know you get tired of listening to me. You get tired of listening to the coaches. So I think it's great for you to hear another voice. Now, you can do two things with this. You can let it go in one ear and out the other, but if you really soak it in, okay, and you listen to it, I think you're gonna get a lot out of it. Understand me? Yes, sir. Everybody's talking, where are our eyes at? We listen with our eyes. Stephen Mackey. All right, fellas. How you doing today? Great. Hey, man, tell you what, fired up to be here with you guys that I get to travel all across the country, like Coach said, coast to coast, from the Big Apple to the Pineapple, you name it, I've been there hanging out with guys just like y'all, man. But I tell you what, there's no place I'd rather be than right here in Kemp, Texas. So listen, man, like Coach said, I'm fired up to be with you. And uh, and I, I tell you what, I always ask you a simple question. A question so simple, even the freshman defensive lineman can answer. Simple question right here. How many of you love the game of football? Right, of course you love the game of football. And what do you love about it? Tell me, what do you love about the game of football? Love hitting people. What else? Scoring. What else? The adrenaline. Competition. What else? Winning. What else? Family. The brotherhood. Right? I love all of that about the game of football. I love everything about the game of football. I love the pageantry. I love the rivalry. I love the Friday night lights. I love the look good, play good. I mean, y'all got the Adidas, the decked out, the shiny helmet, the number on one side, the decal on the other, the look good. I don't know what I got to do to get one in XL, coach. But, I mean, I love everything about the game of football, but you know what I love most about the game of football? It's not hitting. I love hitting people. It's not bubbles. I love it. I love lifting weights, getting bigger, strong. You know what I love most about the game of football is this right here. What I love most about the game of football is that everything you need to know to be successful in the game of life, you can learn in the game of football. Everything you need to know to be successful in the game of life, because some of you are going to play football for four years, but you've got the next 40 that you got to think about how you're going to be successful. As a, as a son, as a boyfriend, a husband, as a father, right? You've got the next 40 years, so you got to figure out what you're going to do. And everything you need to know in the 40, you can learn in the four while you're wearing this jersey, playing the game of football. Discipline, excellence, integrity, work ethic, personal code, all of those things you can learn in the game of football. They'll make you successful in the game of life. And how great is it? that you can learn what you need to be successful when you're 30, 40, 50 years old, and you can learn it right now while you're running around smashing against dudes, winning on Friday nights, playing not just 10 weeks, not just 11 or 12 or 13 or 14 or 50, but going all 16. You can learn it in the game of football. And that's what I love most about the game of football. That's why I travel hanging out with men just like you. That's why I travel around helping athletes connect the dots between what they do here on the field and what they do in life. Because if you can get it, if you can get here, what will make you successful here will help you for the rest of your life. So today I want to challenge you. I want to encourage you. I've been keeping up with what you guys have been doing all season long. And I've been seeing how you've got an opportunity to make a run at something that's special. And so I want to challenge you today with two words. I want to encourage you and I want to challenge you with two words to help you move forward and take the step towards your ultimate goal. To take the next step towards your goal. Here they are, two words. Focus forward. Focus forward. And I want you to understand with this challenge, you gotta understand some definitions and understand that forward is not just a direction. It's not just a word that you can look up in the dictionary and you can find a definition of. Forward is a disposition. It's an internal resolution that says, no matter what comes my way, no matter what's on my right or my left, no matter what's behind me, I am forever and faithfully focused forward. And there's nothing between here and the gates of hell that'll keep me from moving forward to my goal. I wanna ask you right now, man. What are you focused on? What are you focused on? Because the question is not, am I focused? We're all focused on something. The question is, what are you focused on? Are you focused on your own personal goals? Are you focused on your team goals? Are you focused on your stats, your playing time, your carries, your <laughs> touches? Are you focused on moving the team forward? Are you focused on me, myself, and I? Are you focused on the we? Is the me greater than the we for you? What are you focused on? Because just like you cannot stumble into success, you don't stumble into focus. 
Whatever you are focused on, you are focused on intentionally because you and you alone have chosen to focus your energy and your effort and your time and your mind and your body on that thing. And where you focus, you finish. I want you to hear that. If y'all had just phoned, y'all were going to tweet something at Mackie Speaks. I'd tell you to tweet that right there. Where you focus, you finish. And so that's why this question of what are you focused on is so very important. Because wherever your focus is, on your mind and your eye and your energy, wherever you focus, that is where you will finish. You go up against somebody on Friday night. If you focus about how big and how bad they are, you know what you're going to see and you know what's going to be confirmed in everything that you do? is how big and how bad those dudes are. If you're focused on how difficult this mountain is, how many of you ever come to a plateau, a wall, where you're like, I don't know whether it's the PR in the weight room, how am I gonna cross over? I've been working, how am I gonna get to 315? How am I gonna get to three? How am I gonna cross that next level? You ever had a wall you worried about focusing and, and, and getting over? When you focus on how big the wall is, what happens? That wall gets bigger and bigger, doesn't it? But watch what happens when you focus not on the wall, but on the ladder. You know what happens? Your ladder gets bigger and bigger and the wall gets smarter and you cross over. I remember the first time I bench pressed 315. I thought it was an insurmountable weight and I thought I was a dude among dudes when I hit 315 and then I hit 400. And then I thought I'm a dude among dude among dude until I hit 450. And then I thought I was a dude until I hit 500. And then I thought I was somebody, I thought I was strong until I met somebody that benched 600. I said, well, you know, if I was really strong, but you see what happened was the more that I focused, on the wall in front of me. The more I focused on the, the bigger it got until I realized that there was something bigger I could focus on. And it wasn't crossing a weight, it was building a ladder to get over the wall. Are you with me, are you tracking? And so then where you focus, you finish. And so I'm asking you today, where are you focused? Where are you, are you focused on the other team? You play somebody that's not any good. I'm not naming names on who's coming up, but you play somebody, maybe they hadn't won any games. And you go, man, these dudes are nobody. Are you focused on their nobodiness or are you focused on your somebodiness? Because if you're focused on their nobodiness, you know what happens on Friday? You step up and you play to their level and not yours. And then instead of taking a step forward towards your ultimate goal in Arlington, playing a Cowboy Stadium, AT&T Stadium, instead you stay stagnant. And in a world like this, in an environment like we play in, when you stay stagnant, you might as well move backwards. I mean, you got to be focused forward. So I ask you, where are you focused? Are you distracted on your right or your left? Isn't it easy to be walking along and for nine weeks, eight weeks, ten weeks, be focused, but then week 11, your attention gets moved to the right. Your eyes go to the right or the left, and then all of a sudden you stumble and fall, and all that you've worked for is taken away like that. You understand the power of being focused, man? You understand the power of being unequivocally, un unhindered in your focus towards your team goal. See, the reality is, man, we're going to have the opportunity, often in life, to turn our attention from our goal, to turn our attention from what matters most because of the success that we found or because the failure that we find. We'll say, well, you know what? I messed up. Or, you know what? I'm so great. I don't have to focus this week. Can I tell you this? Success is not final and failure is not fatal. And what I mean by that is whether you're great at what you do or you suck at it, whatever it is, it's not something that you can stop at. It's not something that is going to keep you from moving forward. So you've got to stay focused forward. The moment you look to the right or the left, you know what you find? One of two things. You either find attackers or distractors. An attacker is somebody who looks at you and says, I don't want you to reach your goal. So I'm going to attack you. I'm going to try to get you to focus not on the goal in front of you, but on me, on the troll, on the hate, on this. Or you find a distractor. Someone who doesn't have the same goals as you, not because they don't like you, but because they're not as driven as you, because they don't want what you want. They want something lesser. They don't have as the higher standards as you do. And so I'm gonna encourage you today, man, not only do you gotta focus forward, but as a team, you've gotta hold each other accountable to make sure that you are focused on one goal, on the one goal that your team has set for, for yourself, that you've gotta be focused on that. Because the moment you look to the right or the left, is the moment that you start to fall behind. Because then the reality is that as you move forward in the playoffs, as you move forward past week one into week two, the reality is that everybody is talented. And so the teams that make it the furthest will not be the teams who are the most talented, because everybody's talented. 
It will be the teams who are most focused. So I ask you, what are you focused on? Is your focus clear enough? Do you have the distractions moved out enough that you can help the man on your right or your left reach his goals? Or are you just focused on yours? Do you know that's the mark of a leader, man? The mark of a leader is someone who is more focused on helping the person on their right or their left reach their goals than they are with reaching their own. You want to be a leader worth following? You want to lead seniors? You want to lead your team into a run like your school has never seen? Then you've got to be focused on your goal in helping the man on your right and the man on your left reach their goals. Do what they need to do to reach your team goals. That's how you find success in the game of football. Watch this and I'm done. When you can get this in the game of football, you can get it in the game of life. And when you can make this application, when you can make the transition from the field to life, from sports to life, then all of a sudden, you're gonna find times where you get distracted in life, where there are attackers and distractors in the game of life. You're gonna find that there are gonna be people who try to pull you down. You're gonna get married. There will be temptations. There'll be women that say, hey, why don't you just come? Nobody has to know. And yet your integrity, your focus will remind you of what it is that you're focused on, your family, your wife, your children, and you can say no. There are going to be times in business where it's going to get hard, where you're going to feel like, hey, we're going to be up against a crunch line. How can I ever reach this goal? How can I do what I need to do to provide for my family? A crash is going to come. Jobs are going to be taken away, and it's going to be easy to look at all that you don't have. But because in the game of football in 2017, when you were 16, 17, 18 years old, you learned how to have an unhindered focus on what matter most, you can step up and provide for your family. See, man, what you learn here is going to help you for the rest of your life. And when you learn how to focus on what matters most and then take the action to move forward, not only will you find success in the game of football, but you'll find success in the game of life. So, man, as you continue on your journey, man, I want to see you in Arlington. I want to see you do what no other team has done. This is a special group of men. There will never be another assembly of Kip Yellow Jackets just like this right here. Not next year, not last year. This is a once in a lifetime thing. So what are you gonna do about it? Are you focused enough to maximize what your team can do? Or are you distracted, not to your own peril, but to the peril of your teammate? Where are you focused, man? Success in the game of football and life is not complicated. It's as simple as two words. Focus forward. Let's have a good one today. Best of luck to you guys, and I hope, like I said, I hope to see y'all in the playoffs, and I hope to see you in Arlington come December, man. Y'all have a good one. Appreciate you. Watch you guys right here, JV. Guys here, there. Watch you guys right here. Thank you. Hey, listen. Thank you. Defense.